What's going on, everybody? God bless you all. Um, I just wanted to get on here and just tell you guys about a vision that I had last night. Um, it was so vivid. It was so real. Um, you know how you just have those visions, those dreams, and it just feels so, it feels like you're actually there in the dream. It feels like it's just so real, like it's actually happening. That's how it felt for me. Like, I didn't even, um, even realize that it was a, you know, a dream, a vision. Like, it was just so real, you know. And so, um, at first I didn't remember, but then, you know, the Lord just brought it back to my attention. And, um, it was very, very shocking. And, um. So I'm 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 just gonna I'm gonna wait till a couple of few, you know a few people come in and, um, and then I'm gonna just um, tell you guys, but um yeah um, I really feel strongly that I need to tell you guys this um, because a lot of people uh, there's a lot of people out there who really don't believe that Jesus is is coming back you know they they think it's just because. Um, it's been said for so long, it's been said for so many generations that, you know, if it hasn't happened by now, then he's not really coming, you know, because um, he would have came by now. But God's timing is not our timing. You know, his his ways are not our ways, his thoughts are not our thoughts. So he doesn't, he doesn't live in time. So we might think he's slow, we might think God is slow, but... He, God doesn't operate in time. He doesn't live in time. He's eternal. So, God is coming back when he's ready to come back. And, he, and he's not going to come back until his people are ready. And so, let me just get into this vision, y'all. Um, so, it, so, it went like this. Um, So we, it was, I was outside and it was like a cloudy day, you know, I was in the streets and it was like, um, everybody was just having a good time, just minding their own business, doing whatever they wanted to do. And, you know, um, everything was fine. Everything was peaceful. And then, um, and this is real short. It's not even too long of a vision, but it's like, everything was fine. Everybody was minding their own business. I was minding my own business. You know, I was talking, you know, um, just doing whatever. And then all of a sudden, the clouds opened. Like, real quick. The clouds opened. The sky just opened out of nowhere. And everything was happening so fast. And next thing I know, I just heard. As soon as the clouds opened, as soon as, soon as the sky opened, I heard this loud trumpet. The trumpet was so loud, it just caught everybody off guard. Everybody was just looking like, like in so much, um, everybody was just distraught, like just so much, everybody was just shocked, just looking up and, you know, and I'm like thinking like, I can't believe this is happening right now. like. This is really happening. Nobody knew when this was going to happen, but all of a sudden, Jesus is coming through the clouds. The sky is just, is just opening just so fast. And then it's, you know, he's coming with these, his angels and they're surrounding, the angels are surrounding the earth. And everybody's just standing around, just looking up just looking at everything that's going on and everybody's just like just stuck and just in so much shock just cannot believe this is actually happening and the trumpet is still going the trumpet is still um it was so loud the trumpet was so loud it, it was going it was like it was going through your body vibrating through your body that's how loud the trumpet was it was like it was vibrating like your 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 body was reacting to the trumpet your body was vibrating because of the trumpet 
and it was just like it was shocking but like terrifying at the same time you know um more so like okay for those who are who who follow Jesus you know and who who gave their life to Jesus it's not it's not really a scary thing for them but at the same time it is but it's not you know because you know that Jesus Jesus is coming back for you you know if you're saved but for those who weren't saved it was really like it was like the worst nightmare you know and so and then the, the you know the vision just just cut off and that was it and so um what I took away you know from that was just like Jesus is really coming back y'all like it's really not a joke like people really think that he's really not coming back you know but he really is coming and it's not that much time left like this he's really he's at the door he's been at the door he's on the way he's on the way he's coming like in such a short time it's not a lot of time left and it says it in his word you know in his word he says in Thessalonians um, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first then which then then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord wherefore comfort one another with these words but of the times and the seasons brethren ye have no no need that I write unto you for yourselves no perfect perfectly that the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night so we have no idea when the Lord is coming so we have to be ready because in that vision it caught everybody off guard everybody was minding their own business and he was doing what they wanted to do and then all of a sudden boom Jesus comes through the clouds the clouds open up so quick angels these, these, the angels are surrounding the earth everything was happening so fast and many people were not prepared for that to happen and, and as it says in, in, in the bible it says the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night you're not going to know it's going to hit you off guard and so man it's time for us to just prepare and just be ready and be on guard and stay close to the Lord because you have no idea. You don't you do not you do not know when he's gonna come back. You don't know when he's coming. So for those who are not saved, go go get saved, man. Go find Jesus. Go run to Jesus because you can't make it without him and for those who are already saved who already accepted Jesus into their life just stay close to him you know do never drift away stay close to him get closer and closer and closer to Jesus and that's for myself because you have no idea <clears throat> you have no idea when he's going to come and so that, you know, that was just a reminder for me as well. When I had that vision, it was just like, I woke up right away because I'm like, man, this is real. This is really real. Like, Jesus is really coming back. And it is not a joke. And when he comes back, he's not coming pretty. He's not coming all soft. He's coming as a judge. He's coming ready for battle. And so <laughs> it's, it's getting real. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and um
I want you guys to be blessed. Stay close to Jesus. It's the best thing you could ever do. So God bless you all. All right.